There's so many lies, so many political footballs to kick around out there, but Venezuela is just one of the best. All right, so uh, in the truth business, right, if you're telling the truth, right, you can see the lies. You start to, the lies start to pile up. Right, so here's the latest lie about Venezuela. Right? When people didn't know this. I didn't know this until uh, Susie Elgin. Shout out to Susie Elgin. Thank you very much. Citizen journalist bringing articles to our attention, dropping them in the thread. Thank you. I'll definitely talk about this. This is good stuff, right? So did you know that Venezuela donated free heating oil to 100,000 needy U.S. households between the years 2005 and 2013? Did you know that? I didn't know that. I just found that the, the you know, did you hear Mike Pence talk about it when he was saying that, uh, that uh, Venezuela is run by a brutal dictator and a brutal socialist oppressor? No, he forgot to mention that, that, that they, 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 uh, they were very generous to us throughout the Bush era during um, Katrina, Hurricane Katrina. So let's look at the article. We'll look at what Pence said. We'll look at what Hugo Chavez says. Uh, well, the then the then president will look at a, an interesting um, review by a woman who was a recipient of the free oil. So let's take a look at all this stuff. This is good stuff. So Venezuela donated heating oil to 100,000 needy U.S. households between 2005 and 2013. That was all under Hugo Chavez, who was the president between 2002 and 2013. This article was uh, from February... 2013, six years ago, right? Uh, it recounts how the Venezuelan government helped Americans by donating free heating oil. Right? Uh, uh, and this, uh, this is the country that President Trump wants to destroy. Yeah. The program was initiated during the Bush administration at the height of Katrina hurricanes. Right? For eight straight years, 2005 to 2013, Venezuela's state oil company is donating free heating oil to hundreds of thousands of needy Americans. Wow, socialism, right? They're helping us. They're giving us help, right? And, and, we're, co- and we're trying to throw s- fucking aid at them? Whoa, I didn't know this stuff, man. This is crazy, man. Whoa. So Sitco Venezuela Heating Oil Program has helped more than 1.7 million Americans in 25 states in the District of Columbia, keeping warm since it was launched back in 2005. The program is a partnership between Venezuela State Oil, PDVSA, uh, its subsidiary Citgo, and Citizens Energy Corporation, a nonprofit organization funded by U.S. Kennedy. Okay, so uh, it was supported from the beginning by Venezuela's president, Hugo Chavez, Right, the big enemy of the people, the, the socialist authoritarian dictator. It's all bullshit, right? We found out, right? What's crippling the economy? Is the U.S. sanctions? Uh, I'll give you a little history of, of uh, do a little history lesson too um, uh, on Venezuela. Who, what started? Because again, Pence is saying that that Maduro was the evil dictator. That everything fell on the Maduro. It's just a blatant lie. So. Uh, in let's, let's 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 watch Pence. Let's watch Pence. This is Pence's view of Venezuela. This is what he said on national television yesterday. A few short months ago, I have to tell you, this is a remarkably courageous young man. He and his wife Fabiana have stepped forward to lead their nation back, and by most reports, provided crisis at our southern border. Wrong. Let's close the. Loop. There was an interaction. I want. Uh, sorry about that. More secure nation. Now to the events that continue to unfold in Venezuela, certainly chaos in the streets there as uh, um, Nicolas Maduro uh, is not stepping away. And right away you see that the media is, is throwing him softball questions, that Maduro is not stepping away. He's the president of the country. Why is he going to step away? And that there's chaos in the streets. That was a U.S.-led coup that failed. Right? So American media throwing Pence the softball. Here we go. Seeing no signs of that Juan Guaido calling for a military uprising so in the sincere. streets there. There was an interaction I want to ask you about this week, and it happened with a freshman member of Congress, uh, Elon Omar. Uh, she, she took on the Trump administration and blamed the Trump administration for what we're seeing unfold there. Here she is in her own words. 
A lot of the policies uh, that we have put in place has kind of helped lead um, the devastation in Venezuela. And we've sort of set the stage um, for where we are arriving today. Before he speaks, right? Is that true? Yes, it is true. We've got we've put on crippling, crippling sanctions, failed military coups, economic warfare. Do you know that that uh, all the money that that uh, Venezuela was entitled to through, through their subsidiary Citgo Oil in the United States has been confiscated by the United States Treasury through who? Goldman Sachs, fucking for Goldman Sachs, Steve Mnuchin. Media slander. Look, the, the, how how the media is rigged. They, they just and you're gonna watch Pence say socialism 25 times in a row, right? Just re- keep repeating the lies. So is Ilhan Omar correct in saying that the United States had something to do with it? Yeah. Let's go back before we hear Pence. Right. Here's the history. In 1989, centrist Carlos Perez, right? He was elected president uh, and promised and promised to oppose the United States government. Washington Consensus, and the International Monetary Funds. International Monetary Funds is a, is a funny, is a uh, distractive name for basically money funds that support the United States, that are in favor of the United States. It's, it's, it's loans to other countries with, a, with an enormous payback responsibility, right? So it's, the International Money Fund is such, situated, it's an American idea and it's designed to keep the money in the Americans pockets right so this guy in 89 he was elected in 89 in 92 he opposed he 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 said he opposed the Americans uh but once he got into office he went along with it right and he found following the in instant the following instead neoliberal economic policy supported by the United States and the IMF angered the public in an attempt to stop widespread protest and looting that followed his social spending cuts. So a very so the point is that Hugo Chavez didn't come for another eight years, right? Chavez was in opposition. He was on the side of the people, right? The the, the Bolivarian Revolution that ultimately happened in '99, right? In in 2002 when he was elected, right? So so the point is that. All of this stuff was going on, right? That the U.S. was trying to situate itself and and get that oil through the International Money Fund to to run their economy, to impose the dollar, on and on and on. It's what we do all over the world, right? It's what we do certainly all all over South America. So that's the background, right? That's the the background, right? So Nicolas Maduro in 2013... Hugo Chavez dies of fast cancer in a, in a hospital in Cuba, and Maduro is elected president. Elected president, right? He's the he's the democratically elected president. It's not a dictatorship. The people wanted they they were very sad when Hugo Chavez died, right? And they, and and Maduro inherited. Now again, is he does Venezuela have the perfect economy? Why is there you know abject poverty and and such and they they probably have issues of corruption, but that has that is no different no different than any other country on the face of the planet, right? We have no business being there. That's the background on it, right? So let's hear Pence again describe what's going on. You responded uh, to her directly in a tweet, Mr. Vice President, and you said, as Venezuelans take to the streets to stand for their freedom against an oppressive dictator, Democrat Congresswoman Ilhan Omar chooses socialism over freedom, you wrote. The Trump administration stands with the freedom-loving people of Venezuela. So look at the lies. Look how many lies. The Venezuelans Venezuelans take to the streets to stand for their freedom against an oppressive dictator. The Venezuelan people didn't take to the streets. They they they're backed by a military coup. Juan Guaido, Juan Guaido, Juan Guaido, Juan Guaido, the, the coward who's hiding in a foreign embassy in in Caracas right now because Maduro's going to throw him in jail. Right, so so the U.S. is supporting the opposition leader, trying to rally people so that they get shot at, run over, shot with you know rubber bullets, so that the cameras catch the action. Right, right Democratic uh, so. He's saying that the congresswoman chooses socialism over freedom. 
Why it's socialism? The, the, Venezuela is not a socialist nation. It's a, you know, you go. I mean, look at the work that Max Blumenthal went on the ground, asked people, "Where's socialism?" He was looking for socialism, couldn't find it. Right? So it, it's they have social programs like free oil, subsidized food. We have the same thing. We have, you know, subsidized welfare, med- medicine. It's the same, right? Ninety percent of the people in Venezuela are living in poverty, abject poverty. Well. Same here, same here. I, I mean, we have smartphones and such. But again, connect the lies. Smear them with socialism so that older voters, older people in the country think, oh, socialism, that's the authoritarian dictatorship, uh, communism in Russia, right? Isn't that the same thing? Isn't it? I don't know. Is it the same? Socialism is saying it like it's an evil, right? So that's the smear, right? Am I a socialist? No. Why do I get accused of being a socialist? Whenever someone is... Whenever someone supports a socialist program like, like a like a park or a freeway or a you know you know a jobs program to you know put solar panels out in Arizona so that we could siphon the power of the sun or you know Medicare for all right that's socialism right? it's so stupid right it's not it's not an authoritarian so 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 that's the smear Trump and Pence are just going to smear socialism <clears throat> the trump administration stands with the freedom loving people of venezuela the free the people of venezuela are standing with maduro right get your head out your ass pence why did you feel compelled to respond well because the congresswoman doesn't know what she's talking about nicolas maduro is a socialist dictator who's taken what was once one of the most prosperous nations in this hemisphere and, and brought it literally to a level of deprivation and oppression and poverty that we have never seen. That's a total lie, right? So he's saying that he's saying that an oppressive dictator, there's no evidence of that at all, right? There's no evidence of that at all. When you go to Venezuela, there's no evidence of oppressive dictatorship whatsoever, right? And the fact that he's blaming Maduro for the collapse, for the, the, the overall economic status of Venezuela is also false. I just told you that the situation has been going on since 1989. Hugo Chavez tried to fix it, right? And and I guess he did for a while. And now Maduro inherited Hugo Chavez's load, like any other president inherits the president before him's load. Right? So to blame Maduro for the the weight of of Venezuelans' problems is just a lie. It's a straight out lie. Nine out of ten people in Venezuela live in poverty. Three- Nine out of ten people in America live in poverty as well, Mr. Pence. We just saw that with your fake unemployment numbers, that uh, 102 million people in the country, 102 million people in the United States are, are unemployed, are not working, are off the rolls. Right? So, and living, in, living paycheck to paycheck, right? Living... Don't, you know, scraping by every month, right? That's poverty. Three million people have fled Venezuela. That's not a result of U.S. policies. That's a result of the dictatorship and socialism that has been imposed on the people of Venezuela. There's no evidence to anything that he's saying. There's no, there's absolutely no evidence. You're, you're taking archaic terminology, right? Archaic socialism, communism, lumping them all together and then trying to trying to plaster this guy. Why? Because you got your hand in their pocket. You're after the oil. Right? We already know it's true. Bolton, and, and don't say that that Pence has got a mind of his own. It's it's Trump leading the charge. Trump, Pence, Mike Bolton, right? What's his name? John Bolton, uh, uh Elliot Abrams, Steve Mnuchin, they're all uh, uh Pompeo, Mike Pompeo, the, the they're all they're all on message to overthrow Venezuela and get the oil. Get that oil and then give take nine, 90% of the oil, put it in your pocket, and then give 10% of the, the, the country their oil that they own and, and bring them a, a notch up on the economic scale. So I see, see, everything's working out fine. Just keep sucking that oil out. Keep, it, keep, it, keep that oil flowing in our pocket. That's what it's all about. By Nicolas Maduro. And from early in this administration, President Trump has made it clear the United States is not going to stand idly by while the people of Venezuela suffer 
under oppression and dictatorship. No evidence of oppression or dictatorship, just a straight out lie. And socialism, we've taken decisive steps and made it clear. Nicolas Maduro has no legitimate claim to power. And Nic He's, Nicolas Maduro is, has no legitimate claim to power. Nicolas Maduro is the elected president of the country. When they held elections, the opposition leadership declined to, they, they, they didn't even, they didn't even challenge. They didn't even pose a challenge. They, they sat it out. They sat the elections out and Maduro won by a landslide. Nicolas Maduro must go. I couldn't be more proud of the- He wants, he's proud. He wants to, he wants to put in a, a plant, a CIA plant. Juan Guardo, the guy that studied here in America, has studied, he studied and, and, and they got to him and now he's leading a coup and he's hiding his ass in a foreign embassy so that he doesn't get locked up. The way President Trump directed uh, our administration to be the first nation on earth to recognize Juan Guaido as the legitimate president of Venezuela. Now so right there, Juan Guaido, uh, uh, President Trump directed, the, directed them. So stop saying Trump doesn't know what he's doing. Trump is not leading the charge. Donald Trump is leading the charge. He's behind the whole sham. Right, he surrounded himself. This is your new swamp. This is the new swamp. I thought, I thought Trump is, Trump is uh, anti-war and anti-intervention. He's got his hand in Venezuela's pocket. In Yemen, they, he, he vetoed the bill to stop the war. He used the veto of the president to stop the insurgency war in Yemen right? and given Saudi Arabia nuclear weapons. Right? This, is, this is the swamp. See, I, I had said it two years ago, right? But you have to, you have to, some people, you need to have the evidence hitch in the side of the head. Well, here is the evidence. Now more than 50 nations have joined us. Uh, nations all across this hemisphere, all across the world are standing with us. And we're going to continue to stand with the legitimate president of Venezuela and with the National Assembly until freedom and democracy are restored. Winston People are standing, all the nations of the world are standing with the United States because they don't want to get bullied. They don't want to get buggered. They don't want to get sanctioned. They don't want to get, they, you know what I mean? Like you, you're talking about someone with, with tremendous power and influence. Right? It's like a boss. It's like, it's like the employer. You can't, you go against the employer, they, they'll cut you off. Right? So that's what they fail to tell you the last time you talked to Juan Guaido? Have you spoken with him recently? I met with Juan Guaido. Of course, our administration's in regular contact with him. There you go. So, so there you go. The president, the president's administration is in constant contact with the coup leader. All right. So let's get back to the oil, the oil story, right? because that's what it's about. But there you hear, you hear Pence lie and, and, the truth of the matter is what I just told you, right? The, that, that, okay, so, but the fact is they never told the American people, nobody really knows about this story, that Venezuela was actually very charitable during, uh, during the Katrina, not Katrina, um, yeah, Katrina uh, hurricane. So let's watch this woman in her own words, the recipient of Venezuela, the oppressive dictator's generosity. Winter morning in the South Bronx, New York City. Outdoors, the temperature is near freezing. Indoors, 77-year-old Alice Maniotis is bundled up, brewing a pot of coffee and raising the heat just enough to take the chill out of the air. The retired grandmother of seven lives alone on a fixed income. And each winter, as federal programs continue to be slashed, the struggle to afford warm comfort gets harder. I go around screaming and ranting and raving. I mean, all they do is raise, 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 raise. And I mean, it's the same dollar you're getting, so how far can you push it? 100 gallons of oil, 150 gallons of oil is about, right now, about close to $600. However, Venezuela has been stepping in to make Alice's life a bit easier by delivering 100 gallons of free heating oil each winter. She is a four-year beneficiary of the Citgo Venezuela Heating Oil Program, which provides free heating oil to 500,000 poor Americans living in low-income neighborhoods and shelters throughout the country. President wow, Hugo yes. Chavez, often demonized yes. by Washington, helped launch the program in 2005 
following Hurricanes Katrina and Rita. All I know is that he was kind. He was kind to the people in the United States, and I'm sure he, he, he rules differently like Obama rules differently. And who are we to tell these people how they should live? Or how, I mean, are they invading our, our, our country? But they're not. Mm -hmm. They're being generous to give us what comes out of their earth at no charge. Mm -hmm. So could you really have ill feelings against them? Yeah, I'm thankful for it. I really am. In an interview with the Venezuelan newspaper El Universal, America's leader fell short of expressing similar sentiments of gratitude. President Obama recently accused the Chavez government of restricting human rights and taking threatening steps against democratic values. With no evidence, Obama used to threaten, th threaten Hugo Chavez because, again, Hugo Chavez was was slinging oil to Cuba at a lower price, uh, to India, to China, to Cuba, to, to whoever would buy their oil, right? They, don't, they didn't succumb to o OPEC. That was one of the main reasons. So Obama was, uh, oh, socialist, uh, communist, right? made up all this bullshit, right? Because the, the IMF lost control of the economy, right? They, 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 were, they, were, they, they were, didn't want it, they didn't succumb to the imperialism, right? And Obama was surrounded by bankers, and, and oil people, right? So that's why Obama was, you know, Obama uh, uh, opposed Chavez. The Venezuelan leader didn't mince words while responding directly to his U.S. counterpart. You know what, Obama? I feel sorry for you. Just ask the black communities of your country what you mean to them. You're the greatest disappointment of recent years. Go ask the poor people of your country. You're a great disappointment to them. It's time that we stop minding everybody else's business and took care of business here. We have children that are graduating from college with 80, 90, 100 thousand dollars that they have to pay back. It's the it's it's ruining them just to, and they can't get a job. A struggle getting that much harder in the land of opportunity. Wow, what a grave review, right? The woman, I mean, see, just go to the poor people. You want clarity? You want economic clarity in the world? Just go to poor people and they'll tell you what's going on. Right? So, wow, so what did we learn? Damn, that was, that was powerful. So Venezuela, oh yeah, let, there's a couple of more facts, put, put some of these uh, facts on the record because... Um, Venezuela, uh, some of, I, I mean, just the, the sheer number, the sheer amount of oil that was given to, to the Americans is, is really staggering, right? It's a, it's a staggering amount of oil, right? So since the first winter, Sitco uh, has provided 227 million gallons of free heating oil worth an estimated $465 million to an average of 153,000 U.S. households. Some 252 Native American communities and 245 homeless shelters have also benefited from the program. This winter, more than 100,000 American families will receive Venezuelan aid. Not anymore, but in 2013, they did, up to 2013 they did, because the Americans got greedy, and, and this, is all, this is all off the table now. With the U.S. government estimating that households heating primarily with oil will pay $407, 19% more than last year. Right? It's needed. Right? That's, that's the point of the whole thing. Right? So, so when was the last time the United States was generous to Venezuela? No, instead of being generous, we sanction their food. We, we bully their enemies. We, we, we twist their balls until they break. Right? That's, what, that's, that's the American... Re, 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 uh, you know, give back. That's what we. That's our reciprocity, right? That's how we reciprocate, right? By by starting a fake war, right? Economic war that leads to military intervention. We're already seeing it. Not a, it's in our name. It's not us doing it yet, but it's in our name. We're forcing it. We're funding it. We're promoting. We're promoting anarchy on the street in Venezuela for no goddamn reason. Marcus Conti reporting. Don't forget, uh, become a Patreon of this channel, kindly. Uh, I know a lot of you have, and thank you very much. Join Sparta, right? because this is how we fund it. This is how we keep the truth going. Right? It's all about the truth. Right? This is the truth. And uh, if you want to be a one-time uh, participant, you can uh, join, uh, send a 
one-time contribution to PayPal. Also, you can buy stickers uh, on eBay. And also, kindly uh, subscribe to the channel because YouTube is doing a number on us, uh, unsubscribing. So hit that subscribe button. Marcus Conti reporting.